Welcome to BMC's Control-M Conversion Overview video. In this video, you will learn how to get Control-M's conversion tool and how to perform a conversion. The conversion tool enables you to convert data from your existing scheduler or application to a Control-M format. To get the conversion tool, you download the Conversion Tool zip file from the EPD site. After you have extracted the zip file, double-click the batch file to launch the tool. When you create a conversion project, the data you import is evaluated and broken down by type, such as jobs, folders, and calendars. Before running a conversion, you can set rules for converting the data to improve the conversion results. When the conversion is complete, you can view your results and validate or check the forecast of the converted data. Last, the conversion tool automatically uploads the results into Control-M. Let's take a closer look at the process of converting data. First, let's quickly look at a few helpful things in the conversion tool window. The steps for converting data are on the left side of the screen so that you know where you are in the conversion process. If you want to view information or instructions about the screen you are currently looking at, click the Help button. Your browser will open, showing information relevant to this screen. To check for new versions of the conversion tool, click the down arrow and select Check for New Version. In the Projects area, you can see conversion projects that you created. There are also demo projects with sample data for all the schedulers and applications that the conversion tool supports. For this video, we'll create a new project and we'll use Autosys files. In the Project Name field, you enter the name of your project. You can add a description here. In the Project Type field, We'll select CA Autosys and click Create. Next, you enter the location of the data files that you extracted from your scheduler. Note that in the Conversion tool, you can see tips for a specific screen or field in the bottom area of the window. For example, in this window, the Load Data window, you see instructions for how to extract the data from your scheduler. The fields that appear in this screen depend on the scheduler that you are using. Note that the red asterisk symbol indicates mandatory information that you need to enter. Keep in mind that the more data you supply for the conversion, the better your results will be. For our conversion, we'll locate our Autosys job definitions file and calendar definitions file. Now we'll click Import. In the Evaluate Data step, you can see and review the data that was imported. A summary of the data appears in the right pane. The data is labeled using your scheduler's terminology. For example, Autosys uses box for the Control-M term folders. Let's click Next to move to the next step, running the conversion. Here you enter the name of your conversion results folder. By default, the folder is given the name of the project. You can enter a description for the results here. When you convert your data, you have a conversion project file, which we named earlier, and you also have a results folder that contains the converted data. It is possible to run a conversion multiple times using the same data. When you convert your data, you set rules for the conversion. So, you can convert your data using one set of rules and then try the conversion again with a different set of rules and see which rules achieve the best results. Let's click Next and take a look at these rules. Each scheduler has a standard set of rules. These are the rules for Autosys. There are three tabs in the Rules step, General, Fields Editor, and Additional Rules. The General tab contains rules for filtering the type of data that you want. For example, if you want to convert your data in phases, you can filter the specific data for each phase. In the Fields Editor tab, you can customize the value of certain fields. 
For example, you can apply a naming convention to the job name field, such as adding the text underscore autosys to jobs you convert from autosys. And in the Additional Rules tab, you can set rules that are specific to your scheduler. When you set rules, you can save them to use in a future conversion. Rules that you saved previously appear in this drop-down list. If you have Control-M, you can enter your Control-M version and server in this area. Now we'll click Next to run the conversion. Here are the conversion results. The results are separated into two categories, Messages and Actions. Messages tell you which entities were converted and changed, or partially converted, and the severity of the issue. For each job, you will see messages that contain information about the issue. There are three types of messages. Informational messages mean that the jobs were converted successfully, but part of the job definition was changed during the conversion. For example, when illegal characters in a job name are replaced by legal characters. Warning messages tell you which jobs were partly converted. For instance, an autosys job that contained an attribute that doesn't exist in Control-M. And error messages tell you which jobs were not converted. Actions tell you what you need to do before you can run jobs in Control-M. For example, if your job uses a calendar and it's not included in the data, you would need to define a calendar. For some actions, you can automate the process by using Generate Scripts. This creates scripts to run on the Control-M server. Export creates an Excel file of the raw data. This file can be used to estimate the amount of time and manual effort it will take to fix issues that were indicated in the conversion report. In the Conversion Summary area, on the left side, you see the output that was converted for Control-M. The right side refers to all the entities that were converted from your scheduler. You see the number and percentage of entities that were successfully converted. Entities that were converted with warnings refers to both minor issues and issues that need more time or effort to resolve. Let's click Next and continue to the next step. In the Validation step, you can review the scheduling information for the converted data in a report. If you want to view specific entities or a specific date range, you can filter the information here. For Autosys and TWS, if you supply the vendor's forecast report, you can compare the scheduling information between your previous scheduler and Control-M. We'll click Validation Report to see the data that we converted for this video. In this report, you can view and validate each entity. You can also save the report to track the validation progress over time. Let's close the report and click Next to continue. In the Load to Control-M step, you can import the converted data directly into Control-M by entering your Control-M login information. If you want to import the converted data at another time or import it into another Control-M environment, you can click here for instructions. After the data is in Control-M, before moving the data to your production environment, you can use the verification tool to run comparisons between Control-M and your previous scheduler to make sure your business will run the same way. You can activate the verification tool from the command line or open it from the Help menu. We'll click Next to import the data into Control-M. Let's review what we learned in this video. Using the Conversion tool, you convert data from your scheduler or application to a Control-M format. You download the Conversion Tool zip file from the EPD site and then extract it onto your machine. To convert your data, you import it, review and evaluate the data, set rules for converting the data to potentially improve the conversion results, and then validate the forecast of the converted data. Last, you import the results directly into Control-M. 
Thank you for watching this video.